to KC class. This is Balakrishna here with the topic gender. Gender is the most unique topic in all grammars. Generally, most of the students do mistake while writing gender because lack of gender knowledge. They usually do mistake while writing sentence because they don't have a clear idea about a noun and gender. So far we have learned noun and types of noun, yes, but we don't have clear idea about gender. Gender is the thing it helps us to identify the noun belongs to which group. It means a person belongs to which group. Okay. So far, if you haven't uh, subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel so that you will be getting all my videos. Okay, friend. Then we'll start our lesson. Let's go to the topic gender. Gender is nothing but a, it's a word. It tells us the noun or a, the person or thing or an animal belongs to which group they are. Okay. So there are 11 types of nouns. All the nouns once again subdivided into four categories of genders. There are uh, four types of genders. What are those? Masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender, and neutral gender. Masculine gender is nothing but a gender that refers to male person or animal. Okay, masculine gender refers to male persons or animals. For example, boy. Boy is a male person. Yes, man, father. Uncle, nephew, king, hero, poet, dog, horse, tiger, actor, master, lion, priest, father-in-law, son-in-law, brother-in-law. They all are which category? Male category. Yes. So masculine gender refers to the male person or male animal. Okay, friend. It's very easy. Remember. What is masculine gender? If a animal or a person belongs to male category, then we can say that a masculine gender. Okay? Clear? Then we'll go through the next point. Feminine gender. Feminine gender. Feminine gender. Okay? What is feminine gender? A gender refers to female person or animal that is known as feminine gender. Okay? For example, Girl, girl, it refers to female, yes, in such a way, woman, sister, mother, daughter, kin, niece, heroine, tigress, lioness, these all are coming under a female category, yes, so that we call these, these nouns or these words are feminine gender, okay, clear? See friend, remember, if a noun or a word refers to the female category, then that is called feminine gender. Clear? Feminine gender. Then we will go through the next point here, common gender. Okay, our third point is a common gender. What is common gender? Common gender is nothing but, common gender refers to both male and female categories okay it refers to both male and female categories not neither a male itself nor a female itself it refers to both male and female generally most of the students get a little confused about common gender because some words are there the word belongs to which group whether it is male category or female category okay so such type of word friend common gender. For example, I say teacher. Teacher. Whether the teacher is male or female. Can you say that? No. You will get confused. Because teacher is a word that refers to both male as well as a female. You can say both, teach, uh, both male and female as a teacher. Generally, some students think that a teacher means female category. And master means male category. No, absolutely wrong. Teacher refers to both male and female. 
Remember friend? Okay, same with baby. Baby is a word. It refers to both a male and female. We don't know that the baby is a boy baby or girl baby. Okay, so here we can use the word baby for both male and female. Okay, then you can go through next example child. It's the same like a baby. Child, it refers to both a male and female. Parent, the word parent refers to both male and female. Parent is not indicated only the male category. Yes, it refers to both a male as, as well as a female. Clear? Then, people. People is nothing but student. Okay, student, the word student we use for both a boy as well as a girl. Okay, student means not, it indicates only boy student. It refers to both the boy students as well as the girl students. Clear? Then, we'll go through the next example term. Person, it refers to both a male and a female. Not it indicates only male person. Person refers to both a male as well as a female. We can say the boy is a person. We can say to girl as a person. Okay. Doctor. See, generally, most of the students get confused here also doctor. The word doctor refers to the male category. Yes? No. It's absolutely wrong. Doctor word we can use for both male and female. But most of the students think that doctor means a male category and nurse means female category. No. The word doctor, it may be male or female. Because you know very well that male doctor is there, female doctor is there. Yes? Try to get trade. So, the thought, what is there in your mind, just you remove from your brain. Okay? Cousin. See, cousin brother. Most of the people speak that a cousin brother. So, in this way, most of the people think that a cousin is a male category. No. Cousin we can use for both a male and a female. Cousin means it indicates cousin brother or a cousin sister. Okay? Then friend, yes, you know very well, friend word, it's a very familiar word to us, it's not it. Friend, two types of friends are there, male friend and a female friend, boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, friend word refers to both a male and a female. Then neighbor, neighbor words also same for both a male and female. Is a neighbor boy, neighbor girl. Okay, so neighbor word refers to both male and female and uh, board board generally the people or the student think that board means female yes but board is a word it refers to both male and female okay friend remember it animal animal so same animal word refers to both male and female we know that a uh, uh, male um, masculine gender and a feminine gender in masculine gender and feminine gender, we learn that a tiger, tigress, lion, lioness. Yes? So, here, for both a male and female category, we can use the single word animal. Okay? So, friend, remember, these are the words, these are a common noun. In such a way, many words are there. I'll give you some words, you go through those words so that you can gain more and more words. Okay, friend, you have to remember these words. Then we'll go through the next topic, a neuter gender. Neuter gender is nothing but it refers to the non-living things. Okay, neither male or nor female. Neither a male nor a female. Okay, remember friend, neuter, it is not a male category nor a female category. It refers to the non-living things. Just like a table. It's not a male category nor a female category. It's a thing which we can touch but it can't work or it can't function. Yes? So that we can say thing. That is a neuter gender. Then pen. It's a pen. We can write the pen with the help of our hand. It never writes itself. Yes? It never writes itself. 
So it's a thing, it's a neutral gender. We know non-living thing means a thing which has no life. Yes, so that we can say that is a neuter gender, sorry, non-living things. And all the non-living things are called a neuter gender. Yes, in such a way I can say sort. It's a non-living thing, so it's a neuter gender. Board, this board is a neuter gender. Okay, and wood, neuter gender. Car, neuter gender. Ba bike, neuter gender. Yes, aeroplane, neuter gender. Fan, neuter gender. Light, bulb, neuter gender. House, neuter gender. Okay, this all words neuter gender. I hope you understood well. Yes, today you gain many things and you got a clear idea about gender. Yes, friends. Then I'll give you some points. You have to remember those things because those are important things in gender topic. Okay, friend. So far we have discussed four types of gender. Masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and neutral gender. And some points are there. Some words which usually make us confuse what type of gender is that. So you have to memorize those points. Moreover, you have to remember how to convert a, a male gender to female gender. By adding some suffix, we can convert a male gender to female gender. I mean masculine gender to feminine gender. Okay? See friend, these are the words which we can change masculine to feminine. Okay? For example, author. A U T H O R, author, authoress. See here is the suffix E S S. By adding E S S suffix, we can do masculine to feminine. Okay? In such a way, cipher, cipheres. Prophet, prophet is. Air, air is. Poet, poet is. Yes? By adding Yes, we can do many words like tiger, tigress, lion, lioness. Yes? Okay, friend. Then some of the words are there. Which words without adding any kind of suffix we can do masculine to feminine? For example, man. M A N man. Okay. M A N man. That woman. Man. Woman, in such a way, monk, M O N K, monk, nun, dog, beat, peacock, peahen, yes, hero, heroine. I hope you enjoyed a lot in my class. Yes, today you gain some of the new tips and new things in the gender topic. Yes, okay, friend, let me do a test. I'll give you some exercise. If you do those exercises, then I feel that you understood my class very well and you are enjoying my class well. Let's see. Exercise 1. Exercise 2. And exercise 3. These are the exercise friend you have to do. And I hope you can do and uh, I feel you enjoy a lot by doing this exercise. If you have any doubt regarding this gender topic or any problem, if you want to query, just comment on my comment box. And thank you, thanks a lot friend being with me in your video schedule. And I will be back with a new lesson in my further video. And bye for now. Thank you.